going to do this one first. <clears throat> this is front of the stream, front of the channel. Funky frog bait. Uh, we all we all love them. We all know them. This is uh, sad beige moms on TikToks. Okay. I don't know what that means. Sad beige. Whoa! Sorry. Beige moms are erasing the color from their kids' lives one can of spray paint at a time. All right. We're hopping right into it. Hey, before we get into this, um, colors are important for children's growth, if memory serves, right? Having bright, colorful, like... Colors in like the, like having like a colorful environment is good for their mental, right? That's a real thing. So we're already off to a very good start. Um, okay. And the internet is not happy about it. Is this obsessive need for neutrals a threat to their children's development yes. or just another harmless trend? Oh, I hate trends. I think if you are, if you are, if you listen. I think you have, to, you have to fill up a form before you get on the internet. You should be able to, you, know, you, you should be, the internet, you must, you must fill out a form. And if you fall for trends like this, if you were somebody who would do the Harlem Shake as an adult person back in the day, I think that you're not on the internet anymore. Trends are the devil. <laughs> Let's talk about it. But first. Nice. Nice. Good effect. There we go. Nice. Multiple TikToks have gone viral over the past few months of color. Okay, let me go the other way sensitive mothers spray painting their children's toys to better match their god the beige room ew this is a re oh god what a creepy thing they're boring sorry i mean beige aesthetic these posts typically receive quite a lot of criticism yeah you're removing the font like why are we trying to speed run ourselves into like a listen those kids will be depressed later you don't have to speed run them now why remove the joy and color of their childhood for beige bro why are we the backwards yeah um and the most recent video to invoke the ire of the god what a dystopian color scheme simply a gross if you like beige i thought it was a joke was it real beige wasn't real allegedly they're real Depression, no color list. Yay! Internet was this woman who decided that her toddler's toy Christmas tree was a little too festive. I see. <gasps> Hi, Fierce, how are you? I see, I see, I see, I see. Go ahead and call me cra crazy or a sad beige mom for what I'm You're crazy and a sad beige mom. But go ahead, pop off. I'm about to do. Today, I'm giving the step two, my first Christmas tree, a total makeover. I'm I have to assume... If you zoom in there, it's a bright, colorful tree full of happy and whimsy and, and fun. Leaning into my inner Pinterest mom with the vision. That looks adorable. To neutralize the tree. <laughs> Why are you building it? The half the points for your kid to have fun with you. I'm already off to a, I'm already getting angry. I don't even have kids. I'm getting angry. Why is the tree? It's a toy, not a bomb threat. What, what, does it need to be neutralized? You can see how this mom is already on the defensive. She yep. knows the keyboard warriors are going to man their battle stations the moment they see this. But this is not even a keyboard warrior thing. If you showed any... Okay, think of the most detached person in your life chat from the internet. The person in your life who has no foot in the game on the internet. If you showed any normal human this, they'd be like, what the, f what the shit? Neutralize the colors of the tree? What are the, well, this person, are they well? And you'd have to explain to them, this is a trend to which the person would be like, why? Which is all valid questions. I have no words. We have, to, we, have to we have to neutralize the target chat. Neutralize but it. Your uncle, fair. She posted it anyways. I can already hear you thinking that I'm going to ruin my toddler's Christmas by... I didn't say it. You did. I didn't say it. Are they allergic to colors? I don't know what the point is. Painting over these colors. Let's be real. My toddler's favorite toys are brown cardboard boxes and clear plastic water bottles. So I... Girl, that's a lot to unpack. Hey, <laughs> what? Cardboard boxes? <laughs> Whoa, wait, 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 girl. What do you mean? All right. Do you buy your kids toys? Can we go back? Sure thing, boss. A little bit just for you. Because she tried to slide that past us. My toddler's favorite toys are brown cardboard boxes and clear plastic water bottles. That's normal kid things? Okay, is it? 
I mean, I get being a little box to like, I don't know. Maybe I'm reading too much into this. Maybe you're right. I played in boxes as a kid. Boxes slap. You know what? Artist right. Benefit of the doubt. I'm sure the tree will look beautiful when it's done. So I really think that she's a neutral girly at heart. Your toddler isn't a neutral. A neutral girly? <laughs> Hold on. Chat one second. Heart. Okay, hold on. Sorry, chat, one second. Okay. There we go. <laughs> chat, same. Dude, same. Same, dude, same, girl. Where were we? <laughs> Early. Kids are just little goblins yep. who like to play with trash. I originally True. wanted to paint the body of the tree a brown, but then I realized, you know what? I want my tree to look a little bit alive. So here I am. Yeah. Can you place it for No! Painting an already green tree another shade of green. You're telling me that we narrowly missed a far worse timeline where this woman painted her kid's I, Christmas listen, tree Froggy, brown. Froggy, I am actually so sad we didn't get the timeline. I would have loved to have seen this dead ass tree. Here's how the DIY ornaments turned out, guys. Honestly, I love them. They're definitely giving orchids. This is so sad. <gasps> this is like, like futuristic sad. It's just gray and it's gross and sad. <laughs> I got your poop tree, kid. Now get, hey, get out, hey, Timmy, get out of the, get out of the box. Put the, put the bottle down. Put the bottle. I know you love Mr. Bottle. But I got you this tree. Also, make sure you don't smell it, because it's going to smell real strong. Organic modern vibe. I know I'd be feeling the Christmas spirit Depressive like it is. in the living room. Organic modern vibe. More like organic matter vibe. Am I right? No. <laughs> no. The only thing you're right about is I have to run ads every time of the hour. Um, no, you can avoid it. Touch my touch my touch up. Otherwise, ad break coming in right <laughs> Did they run? They should be running right now. Sweet. I did it. I did it. I know uh, uh, Bob Ross painted in gray, but even... Well, he painted in also um, other colors. And also, he made it look alive. <laughs> look, if you can't handle me at my lazy poop joke I wrote in three and a half seconds, then you don't deserve me at my other equally mediocre material. Do that's you need fair. you guys' help? Should I paint the train or leave it as is? Bro, just, that's so cute and whimsical. The tree looks so dismal and sad in the background. The star is beige. The ornaments are beige. The tree is this, like, vomit green. It's like, stop it. Get some help. What? Papa, I think you are too bright. And colorful, Aww. I think it's time to neutralize you. Wait. <laughs> Wait, hey, chill out. I to quote the Beatles. Go ahead. Um, <clears throat> Bob Ross painted a whole picture in great. Well, of course he, like, of course, uh, yeah. But there's a valid reason why he did that, right? This lady's just insane. Hi, Combi, how are you? Chef Combi, how are you? How are you? Hi, hi, hi. Hi. Let it be. Let it be. Mm -hmm. Let it be. Here's how the tree turned out and what it looks like in our space. I absolutely love it, but let me know what you think. Oh, yeah. Oh. Akami, I got you. I got you a tree. No, I got you a tree. I made you that. I made you a tree, chat. Not the beige, baby tree. What do you mean? It's art. It looks, it's aesthetic. It's called aesthetic. Read a book. <laughs> Amateurs. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. People let her know exactly. All right, Miss Ad, the Goldwater Spirit and the Cold Life List. This, uh, this would do numbers in an SLL skit. True. Exactly what they thought, quite enthusiastically. I have a few thoughts of okay. my own about Please, this. Please, go ahead. First off, yes, it is incredibly ugly. It makes Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. Charlie Brown's Christmas tree had charm. That's why, it, it, because it's all he had. 
It's charming. It's got the one bulb. It's it's got co it's got more color than the god thing. If I can read through, hope it isn't better than mine. I I hopefully yours gets better, cowboy. I, I hopefully it does. Does the tree match the drapes? Stop that. <laughs> you knock that off. It's extravagant, but I'm more worried about how safe it is. Okay. Just because Krylon's- Oh, it's going to smell so good, dude. Oh, you know that tree smells sick. Dude, if I was four, I would roll up that tree. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good tree. <laughs> Oh, I love Christmas so much. Oh man, I'm seeing, I'm seeing Bluey. <laughs> mm. Paint chips, just like mommy eats. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Spray paint is supposed to be non-toxic. But they follow. It doesn't mean that it's edible. And if any of that paint chips off, a toddler is going to devour it like it was plated at a restaurant with three Michelin stars. Just like mommy. Listen, I'm going to be just like mommy. If mommy was, mommy had to have had eaten some paint chips, I want to be just like mommy. That's fair. When people pointed this out, Natalie posted this DIY oh, okay. showing wait, 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 wait. Let me get out of the way. everyone how to make these little emergency room visits waiting to happen what? instead. <laughs> Whoa! Awesome. Awesome. I'm going to drink out those. Dude, if I was three, I'm drinking out these shits. Are you kidding me? First thing I do, <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm, I can taste. I see everything. Mother, mother, I see. I see everything. I can hear everything. Mother, <laughs> mother. Oh, you didn't like the hazardous dung balls? Well, how about these super fragile ornaments that will shatter into a thousand yep. razor sharp pieces of plastic under the slightest bit of pressure? I can't wait. Give me, I can, I want that. Oh, that looks delicious. I appreciate that she oh. tried to accept feedback, but I think it's safe to say that okay. DIYing your kids' <laughs> toys Mother. below a certain age is not really worth the risk. I. Listen, kids are stupid. When I was a youth. If given the opportunity, I would absolutely try to smell gasoline. It was a very cool smell, and I liked it. That doesn't, that doesn't listen. Did that hurt my brain? No, probably. <laughs> maybe, maybe. And that's uh, what? Well, what do you mean wood? I mean, I did get, I did get it. Smell gasoline. It's a really good smell. It's a good smell. <laughs> Stop saying it explains so much. It doesn't. I'm actually ah, uh, your gasoline probably didn't. I, I would. Mm, it's a good smell. Get right in the can. Mm, good flavors. Point is, if you're a kid, you're going to get in the paint. Is all I'm saying. It's in the paint. It is. <laughs> Our class have fun. <laughs> it's really good. I identify mm -hmm. as an attack helicopter. It's a good one. Risk. Thanks for the bits. But before we continue, I'd like... Ethical uh, reaction content under uh, ethical reaction content. Let's see what we got. To take a second to talk about... Well, the sponsor, Using the Bottles deliver scented air to your. My name is Paul, you're and welcome to Raiders. I see, how are you? Hi, everybody. Trade for the Welcome to Raiders. We're watching uh, Sad Beige Moms. We're currently an ad for um the, the 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 cups that make the smell good water happen. Yes, but having a stream. Hello, welcome in. Hello mouth as you drink meaning that even though you're just drinking water you get to enjoy a variety of different flavors through the power mm. of scent based taste making hydration way more interesting I that's fair i like gamer subs using discount code mutt at checkout for 10 percent off your next order but i see you're saying froggy I see your I've been using Air Up pretty much every single day over the past few months. I've been trying different okay. flavors, and I think that Cherry has <laughs> Thank officially you for the replaced Tangerine. Is that highly chemical? I don't know. I'd have to look into the Air Up thing. I'm not sure. As my favorite. Air Up guarantees that three flavor pods should last at least 10 days, but in my- 20% of our- <gasps> Kingsley. I didn't know that. Kingsley's Kingsley's looking out for me more than gamer subs does sometimes because I always I always forget to read gamer subs. They, they, we have a server and they'll be like everyone. I'm like all right, whatever. Twenty two percent off until the ninth, baby. Let's go. Let's go. The cups that this moment water happened. Uh, more uh poetry gold presented by Paul who did not inhale gasoline ever. I inhaled gasoline because it was tasty on the mouth. 
Okay, I think I just had a stroke from all the gasoline. I'll be honest with you guys. I don't know what I just said. Point is, gasoline, don't, don't inhale it. Experience, they last way longer. I was using the same one for multiple weeks and I could still taste hints of cherry. The I oh. love raising the fastest maturing generation like common depressed office workers. Hell yeah! Happy first birthday. <laughs> I got you a calculator. Hell yeah! Have fun doing taxes when you grow up. I think kids have too much free time. You ever see like a two or three year old just walking around going like, Nah. Mm -mm. Put that kid to the mines. That's right. We're going back, chat. We're going back, baby. <laughs> they yearn for the mines. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Play with sticks. It could be mining. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Sir. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's such a dystopian thing to remove color and and like it, kids grow up so fast man there's no reason for this why are you making this kid live in a beige house put a poster up or something bro Bottles also come in so many different colors. True. But for me, green was an obvious choice. I love they that want, they can push my cards. It's true. Super easy true. to disassemble for cleaning, and that I can swap out flavors. Well, play Minecraft IRL. I buy something new. <laughs> Yay! You okay. joke, but okay. Florida recently made it so you don't have to give teenagers breaks yep. and work them thirty hours a week. Yippee, capitalist! The rest of the U.S. Florida is and always will be just the worst part of the U.S. I think. Eh, full stop. Using air up is a great way to make drinking water full more stop. fun, so you can stay healthy and hydrated. Full stop. stop choosing between health oh, Adam, and flavor, blush. and choose both by clicking the link in the description to try air up. I'm going to show the other bottles. Now, beginning. during this oh. video, I'm going to be using the term beige mom, but sure. To be clear, there are multiple species of the miserably minimalist millennial parent. There is, by the way, there's nothing wrong with being uh, a, 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 a miserable millennial, a miserable minimal millennial. What if you're if you're a a minimalist? There's the word. Um, that's fine. But don't force on your goddamn kids, bro. Be miserable in your own time. Sad beige mom. Wow. Sad gray mom. Oh, that's somehow worse. Why? It's so sad and gray. And sad white mom. I, I, I'm prepared to argue most of them are sad white moms. Not to be confused with sad Caucasian mom. <laughs> That was my, I'm just saying, bro. That was my immediate thought. I'll say it. AKA my mom after finding out that I quit my job to become a YouTuber. You'll God. Hey, Froggy. Chill out, dude. Hey, I don't need that shit right now, okay? I'm just trying to have fun here. All right? How about you calm down? Froggy, relax. Just trying to have a good time. All right? We're all having a goof and a gaff here, bro. I'm going to relax a little bit, huh? also probably noticed that women are going to be featured pretty much exclusively in this video and oh. that's just because they're the ones posting the content right both parents have a degree of responsibility i agree i you beat me you beat me to the punch froggy um stop i are not no uh um you see, you know, uh, uh, decorate uh, colors. I was saying it. They just you can't decorate the colors. It's just my well, mom's millennial and she's a uh, uh, sad white mom. Also in denial that I have brain fog. Listen, we all have brain fog. But for different reasons. Sad beige dads hold the camera. It's, that's what I'm saying. That's exactly it. Boop. Sad beige moms are the one be like, oh my God, look at my room. But the sad beige dads are the one being like, that's that's my wife. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it takes two to tango in most of these cases at least for cultivating a colorless environment in their mm -hmm. home. At this point, I do need to admit my bias, not yep. the K-pop kind, because I am a maximalist to my core. Maximalist. I am never happier than when I am surrounded by a colorful trove uh, okay. of knickknacks, okay. <clears throat> antiques, and well over 20 thingamabobs. So I am in the middle. I have, I have stuff, but... Like in my living room, for example, I have like the TV stand, the the TV on it. 
um, a chair, a couch, uh, a couple of stands with um, lights and a bookshelf. But the bookshelf and the TV stands are filled with shit. So I'm like in the middle. I'm not goblin core, but I'm not minimalist. I'm just like regular. Like my room right now, like I've got my computer set up here. And then I got my Warhammer and their cases. So it's like in the middle. Does that make sense? So, yeah, I don't know. I'm in the middle. First time here. Welcome to the account. How you doing? Oh, I, I feel like a Loki hoarder. So as I, I have, I mean, I, what's Goblin Core? You just like hoard stuff and you have like pretty shinies and stuff that you find. I find this trend of minimalism to be absolutely hideous, but Too I'm strong. going to try, yeah, try. really hard try. to keep an open mind for the mm -hmm. rest of this video. Mm -hmm. When you're an aesthetic mom and it's your kid's birthday. <gasps> what? This shit would be in my nightmares. I I could I I could unironically, if this was my play dimension music of this. <laughs> okay, hold on. <laughs> Everywhere I look, something reminds me of her. <laughs> what does that mean? What is it? Okay. Was this the one? <laughs> no! It sucks! It's worse! Jesus Christ. You know what? No. My mind. Because they're able is to cha now. Uh, charge more to paint that shit. Oh, yeah. There's one, There's like a team of dudes that are just like laughing, rolling in money because one person. Ay ay ay, dude! If I if I got into the the welcome to, just if I was playing in this, it's just it's gonna be this is going to be a boss room or like a boss area for a future D and D campaign. This is so haunting. It just sucks. Oh Jesus Christ! It sucks. You know what? No, my mind is closed now i'm closing my mind no i oh. can't even have color on their birthday no that's oh, oh my god show me the birthday dude half the fun of birthdays is the bright and colorful please wait was, was there a ball pit no was there i'm going to try this is by the way i the more i watch this the more unnerved i oh i probably get Oh my god, it's a white ball pit! What? Bro. Get help. This is not normal. This just sucks to look at. Oh, Jesus the third Christ. Saddest, you know the third saddest ball pit. Hold on, chat. Give me a second. Give me a second. I'm working here. I'm doing my job. Oh, I just minimized that page. Hold on. I'm doing my job, chat. Give me a second. God, the things I do for you guys. I tell you. I tell you, chat. The things I do for you guys. Ugh. I'm working overtime for you guys. I'm living my best life. I want to make this a real chill environment for my beautiful, beautiful community. And, Nothing um, like a mom introducing their children to white balls so early. Good one. Rim shot. How <laughs> you messing up? No! Also, here's this. Okay, you guys forgot. <sighs> little gift for you guys. Little gift, little gift. Little, put it away. It's away! What? No, my mind is closed now. I'm closing my mind. The kids can't even have color on their birthday. What is minimalist? Uh, I'll show you an example of minimalist. Hold on, hold on. We'll do, we'll do, I'll do a Google of minimalist uh, room. Let's see if I can find a good example of minimalist room. Um, Ironically, they're all like just white rooms. I don't know if this is the new trend or if we can find one that's like, here's a pretty good example, I think, right? Let me see. This is pretty simple. We'll use this one. It, it's not a great example, but it'll, it'll get the point across. Papamit, you're a little too colorful and gay. Oh, no. Could you turn on the black and white filter? Do I have that? Thanks. It would oh. be easy on my eyes. Give me a second. I actually, because I might have that, actually. <laughs> Let me, hold on. Stand by. I can do this. 
Whoa, 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 I already forgot how to do this. Oh, no! I forgot to do this! Wait. Um. Well, unfortunately, I forgot how to do this, and it's, um. Wait, let's do this. Hold on. Nope. Ha! Ha! Wait. Nope. This one? Hold on. Nope. This one? No. Hold on. No. Hold on. <gasps> is this the one? Hold on. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. Color grading. Effect on. Okay, hold on. We can get this chat. Okay. Maybe saturation? Oh! Got it. Oh, that ain't right. Whoa! That's sick though, right? That's sick though, right? Okay, hold on. Let's do this to there we go. Is that better? What are you? Not... <laughs> it's, a it's not beige enough. Hold on. How do I make it beige? Oh, I can do this. I can do this. Oh, I'm a, I'm a gamer. Give me a second. Okay, let's try to get a little more beige. Right about here. Oh, dude. That's pretty good. <laughs> do I have a radio static voice? I don't. I don't have a radio static voice at all. Welcome into the stream. Welcome into the stream. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. How are you? This is kind of cool. So see the colors? Okay, hold on. I can do this. Saturation. Bring it down a little bit more. There we go. This feels right. This feels good. I feel wait. What is the meaning of this? You have deliberately One. disobeyed me. I didn't do anything. Answer me. I didn't do anything, bro. A dog whoa, whoa, is never whoa. allowed to disobey whoa. his owner. And if what? he does, then he gets broken. Bro, I do shit. Mm -mm. All right, let's do it. Back to this thing. Who is this party for? The inmates of Arkham Asylum? At least it'll yep. be easy to see if little T <laughs> nice decides one, to let a chocolate surprise slip out of his pampers in the ball pit. You know what? True. My bad. That's the last poop joke. I'm cutting that myself off. That but was don't worry. One. This company also does safari themed parties. I'm so excited. Parties. Kind of put like a. <laughs> All you did was just kind of put like a lion sticker on the. <laughs> it's all you did. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Wait, was there colors? Self off. But don't worry, this company Wait. also does safari themed parties. Oh, because it's got the little green and beige balls in there. Oh, the safari is in the ball pit. And the rest of it is just caged in like inmates. <laughs> Woo! Wow! <laughs> it's the saddest thing. What the freak are? I'm in hell, dude. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen. Holy dooly. Oh yeah, that sure is <laughs> one wild safari. They're not your lineup, they're not. I've been feeling a little crazy last night when she ordered those four <laughs> by four. Come one, come all, mm -hmm. feel like a zoo animal <laughs> at a one star rated zoo. Yay! I was so glad I had to grow up uh, out of middle class, but I uh, said a little bit of class. Uh, Borland poor, so I uh, having taste. I am very grateful for the same. Um, those people make, make uh, kids toys. What do you mean, like just white? brown animal stickers to slap on the bouncy castle she she must have been having a little safari of she was a little silly chat she was a little silly line in the pantry to green light sorry sage light that good i was gonna yell at actually good i'm glad you uh, good 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 that obnoxious wait also with everything uh white wouldn't that be bad for heat probably i don't know the whole thing is bad play look at this wait what's happening Okay, just God, what a boring person. God, what a boring human. Wowie zowie. This is just boring. Look at this. <gasps> that poor baby, dude. That baby's. 
that baby is going to grow up to be like the equivalent of the one guy from the Caroline. The da dad from Caroline, dude. That baby, that baby's doomed, bro. You know what I'm talking about? Th th this dude here, I got you, chat. Hold on. The man, the myth himself, bro. Like, no color at all. He's just, this, this kid is going to be like six years old in the middle of like school or whatever. And it's like, hey, Timmy, did you do, do work? He'd be like, oh, well, yeah, I did my work. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I'll get to it. I'm sorry. Um, just, you know, work's been real tough lately here at the old, you know, old first grade. And, you know, I just... I'll get it, Mrs. Stevenson. Give me a second. Like, it, this kid's gonna be this at six, dude. Like, what are we doing, guy? Is it, why do kids have stimulated colors? Michigan State? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> uh oh. Thought my thing was crashed. That's funny. <laughs> Look at me. Oh, kindergarten have a seizure at all the colors I see. Oh, also, I wonder how that's gonna be like, right? Perfect. <laughs> this poor kid, man. Is this, wait, let me see. Damn, what a... Oh, there's just nothing for this kid. Not even the, the mobile. <laughs> oh my god. Holy sh... That sucks. I am a beige mom, okay. and one day my child invited friends from school for a sleepover. Okay. Unfortunately, some of my child's friends were people of color, I so see. I had to neutralize them. I see. I see. Um, That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Yikes. I don't like that. Pretty, pretty uh, bad joke. We'll pass that on uh, as a uh, rough one, and we're gonna go ahead and just assume that you uh, meant that for to be funny, but it was not. It was not a good one. I thought I went colorblind for a second. It's like the first thirty minutes of the Wizard of Oz, the old one. Dude, it is on. Uh... With the asbestos snow, to be clear. Wait, was that asbestos snow for real? Was that asbestos snow for real? Stop. Wait, stop. That was asbestos? Maybe? Yeah? It was? Maybe? Bro. I thought it was soap? I I hope it's soap! When I was so sure, I... I never heard of that. What? That's crazy. There's no place like home. Wrong. Thousands <laughs> of middle-aged women decorate their house like this now. <laughs> Why? The medium between sad beige mom and not sad beige mom. Good luck. And I'm just going to show you why, so let's go. Okay, first up, there's this. Don't ruin this thing. Please. Don't, don't, don't. This, this is exactly what a kid needs. Color simulation, happy animals. Don't ruin this. And then there's this. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I apologize what? for bad joke. Okay. I will be more careful yeah. from now on. Sorry. Just make sure you understand why it's inappropriate. Um, just as long as long as you were able to reflect on why it's inappropriate and why it's you know uh, a, a joke in bad taste. Uh, you know what I'm saying? As, as long as you're able to kind of reflect on that, that, that that's all I ask. You know what I'm saying? Uh, learn, learn and live. Learn and live. My base loves her Walker. This thing is so sad. It is beautiful. Now, what in the hell is that? I don't like that. A Vulcan's first abacus? Good one. I like that. It's a good joke, actually. Children from the Victorian era would be like, that looks to be <laughs> I don't right. want to play with it. And then go back to... So I made it so you can use channel points and uh, biddies for Anya. Yes. Licking the lead paint off their toys. Then there's this. Don't, we all have a good... Don't, don't. Stop that. Stop that. Ball pit. And then there's... <laughs> This sucks! Is she photoshopped in there? Is that kid photoshopped in there? If I said, how you doing? Is she, wait, is she photoshopped in there? Or am I tripping? This kid looks photoshopped in there, right? Looks like cardboard. This sphere cylinder. That's a, that's a dog toy. This is like a... The porch looks off. It looks photoshopped, actually. I'm not kidding. This. Yeah, no, the light blue toy covered with the happy, smiling faces of animal friends is so ugly. Yeah. Bring in the Why do I feel like these parents are doing everything they can to make their kids heteronormative and also not appear poor? I don't know if it's... I don't know. I, I, I have to assume it's, it's just people who don't have an identity. 
So you'll see this a lot with older. Uh, there are a lot of folks who just live their lives where their entire identity is like, you know, oh my god, I totally just watched Netflix this weekend and drank wine. It was crazy. But that's like their whole persona. They don't really have hobbies. They don't really go do things. They don't really have friends. And they, it just seems like they just want to stand out, but in a very safe way. They want to be unique and quirky, but not too unique and quirky. That's how I'm seeing it, at least. Um, I think it's a, uh, a faux rich thing. Maybe. All about the kids go to school and see a couple rooms and toys. I, I genuinely am curious how a baby in this environment going to preschool will react. Their holly mom is uh, mom's house housewife. That's what I'm saying. Like, I'm... I'm it just feels like that. It does. Calendar. You've heard of ball pits. Oh, Robin and Anxious? I, for... I sincerely think the kid's going to be... Oh, yeah, Kingsley got it right. I think the kid's going to be overall anxious. If you, have a, if you raise a kid in a beige environment and take them to a Chuck E. Cheese's once, they might have a panic attack at like four years old. Half the reason you expose them to bright colors and stuff is for their developing minds. Denying that of that is going to hurt them in the long run. The pit of despair. <laughs> Let's just jumpstart them right into the depressing realities yep. of adulthood, shall we? There's this. Come on. I know what it's gonna look like, but I'm already not looking forward to it, chat. I know what we're about to see, but we can do better. And then there's <laughs> Oh my god! Come on! Come on! <laughs> rainbow but straight? Bro! Did it for the rainbow? This is ridiculous! This. Like, you guys, you can't blame us. Okay. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go use the restroom. I had a lot of water. Chat, what are we thinking? I'm back. What are we thinking? You here to brighten up the room? Okay. <laughs> a little rave in the room. <laughs> That's a little rave. Boop, 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 boop. Blame it or got it, got it, got it. These Thank parents should legally be banned from eating Skittles. A fate worse than death. Like, you guys, you can't blame us. Okay, that's just homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> True! True! Is anyone else feel like these women are trying to raise their kids to be sociopaths? I don't think it's that. I don't think it's that. I sincerely think it's it's just like a it's a trend. It's a fad that's uh, as all fads do, going too far. Replaced the adorable rainbow toy with what looks like a disassembled dentist chair. It's How true. How kid gonna learn their colors with the arches of sadness? <laughs> Hi, Katie. Are you ready for your first day of... Oh, I want to see how Froggy thinks this is going to go down. Pre-K. Yes, she's already learning her colors. Wow, that's so wow. good. Hey, hey, Katie, can you tell me what color Elmo oh, is? Oh, we don't waste her time with the primary colors, but right. she can tell the difference between raw umber and walnut brown. Even I can't do that. Ironically <laughs> enough, like... the only Skittles, they probably are the Grey Pride Skittles. Hey, what was up with that? Was there a reason they made the prize Skittles like, like black and like gray and white? I, I don't actually, I, I don't eat Skittles, so I don't really know the context of that. Was there like a, like a message they were trying to send? It seemed like they, they took the gay out of the Skittles. They had a reason, I don't remember why. Wait, what? Yeah, they had like weird, uh, hold on, I got you guys, hold on. Something, something giving the rainbow to the rainbow community. Skittles, colorless. Um, okay, I don't know if this is a pride thing or not. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, I got it. So, okay, they came out with the Skittles that are like, like, just void of color, right? And they said only one rainbow matters during pride, which is, I guess... Kind of fun, but like I don't know. It was a weird message. I I I mean, you didn't see this? Yeah, these little pride skills, like little these little dystopian ass little like pebbles <laughs> eating rocks, dude. I could replace your skills by the rocks. 
<laughs> and you would not know the difference. All right, back to this hell. Red, do you have wrong excuse? Yeah, I think so too. Beige ball, my fair kind of snack. <laughs> True. I know, so those, they're terrifying. I don't, I, I, it's weird. It was weird. Taste the rainbow, taste the same gender. <laughs> it is sad, I admit, but I. Sorry, I blacked out. What'd you say? Umber and Like, it is sad, I admit. Okay. So why are you doing it? But I love it. It is. Sick. Okay, so just kind of. Okay, so it's kind of a selfish thing you're doing. Just, okay. Sure. I love when um, my dog doesn't bark super loud when I'm working. That doesn't mean I'm going to punish her for barking. So you just don't, you just don't care about your kids. Okay. It's not an eyesore in our house. Like, you got to understand, like, why we are at least partial sad beige as mom. Are you damning your kids because you don't want your house to be an eyesore? You are a mother. You are a parent. Your responsibility is to the health and growth of that child. If you didn't want to have an eyesore a bunch of toys, you should have had a kid. Shadow. Doesn't work. Mm. Bowling King speaking. Apologies for hitting the emergency button. Okay, go ahead. But real quick. Sure. Few years ago, I had a white Gatorade once, sure. and it tastes weird. Okay. I thought I was gonna puke. Right. But for now, I can't get another one. All right, I'm finished. This bowler is out. I don't know what you're saying. I have, I have no idea what you're talking about at all, Anya. I have literally zero idea what you're talking about. Sorry. Ignore that. I way ahead of you. Um, you have a certain style that you like. This is yellow. Where percentage of guys true. Having bad taste doesn't necessarily qualify as child abuse, but your house can't be a Pinterest board, right. And still be a home. Right. Your kids aren't renting their rooms. It's their house too. Good example. If you never, by the way, if you never rented an apartment as like a first time renter, a beige home is the definition of a first time renter. Like, it, it looks just like I'm renting the place and I can't change the color of the paint. It looks gross. I really think Pinterest is made. Yeah, I, yeah. And they shouldn't be made to feel like their colorful toys are a hideous invasion of the space. True. Now, obviously, there's a scale. That kid, hold on. Okay, I can't. <laughs> I was going to say, that kid is going to grow up to just be so obsessed with rainbows, it'll be blinding. Like, it will, they'll have, like, rainbow bracelets, rainbow shirts, tie-dye shirts, rainbow pants, rainbow socks. Like, it's going to be, dude, it's going to be, it's going to be the opposite of their up. It's, it's actually how it goes down every time. To this, not all beige moms are created equal. This okay. is a pretty sad brown playroom. Sure. But you can see the spots of color poking out here and there. Yeah, there's... It's still sad though, bro. It's still sad in here. And then there's people like this who This I I this it like it's not... who literally throw away all their kids' toys and force them to cosplay as pilgrims for the internet. Not nah, that nope. Straight to jail. I don't think that, it, nope. Yeah, that stopped being cool pretty immediately. This is abuse now. We're in abuse territory. By the way, um, I'm gonna t for two things. One, med check. I forgot to take mine. Hold on, help. Mm. I've said it once, I said it again. If you record your kids for content, nine times out of 10, you're a shit person. I've yet to be proven wrong. I have yet to be proven wrong. D just, you know. Let's remove all fun from a child's life. That's what I'm saying. It just, I don't know why that's the voice that the AI thought Quandale would be. But yeah, like, have you seen Goth Baby? I have not seen Goth Baby. Force Pokemon to her to stop doing that for a reason. Yeah, who would have guessed? Like, this is literally the day, I, I'm, I'm sorry, all family channels, if I see your kid, like, it's one thing to be like, oh my God, here's my kid. Oh, she's so silly for her birthday. <sighs> oh, she bought a candle. Oh my God, she can get them all right. Uh huh. It's nothing to exclusively record your kid for content. You, you're you not a good person. You have, to, you have to be proven wrong. Goth baby is rad. Goth baby. What's goth baby about? 
Oh, this is got me. Wait, what? A day like the gothic baby. Is this goth baby? Right here? Is this goth baby chat? Who, who, who is, this? is this? Is this goth baby? This is Reba Hardy. Is this it? Is this goth baby? Yes. Okay. We're going to watch some goth baby real quick. All right. In the life of a gothic baby, some days are more carefree than others. Aww. And <laughs> this is kind of cute. Okay. Today, I start my morning with some unrestricted play. She deserved it. Next, I head to the dining room where I enjoy a breakfast of eggs and the tears of the color theorists in my... She's that. This is really cute. ...comment section. They're salty, but so am I. My afternoon is filled with voice Aww. <laughs> Dude, I love seeing good parents be good parents. Do little happy claps. It's so cute. Look at a happy little bouncing. Oh my God, I'm going to cry. Uh, uh, this is... Oh my God, I'm going to cry. This is such a good palate cleanser. Whenever you see dumb shit like beige moms, it's so nice to have a good palate cleanser, dude. This is this is wonderful. Walks with mother through the forest of lost souls. Aww. Finally, nightfall beckons, so I don my Metallica pajamas and slowly drift off to sleep. <laughs> I'm gonna tear up. This is really sweet, dude. I love good parents so much, dude. Good parents are so sweet. Like, th like this. That's really th this is this this is like this is really cute. That's a really adorable thing. Goth baby's cool. That's really sweet. All right, back to hell. <laughs> back to hell. I I really wish I was gone. I was I was a god baby, bro. I was just like a baby. Was that just was, was that just Matt Hardy? Wait, was that what we do? Was that just Matt Hardy? Somebody get this poor child a skittle. She has years of Red Forty to catch up on. Sa yeah, 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 yeah. Sad beige mom posts inspire other sad beige moms. Companies have noticed hey, the increased like... demand for Pinterest perfect toys. Dude, it's the Pinterest shit again, bro. <laughs> so they vote. It's the Pinterest. I was trying to be samesies. And they are happy to supply. <laughs> Prudence, chastity. You may select one with the implement, but no more than that, lest the devil overshadow your heart with a sin of covetousness. Yes, Papa. They <laughs> <laughs> so they're right, though. They are colorless, lest you forget how colorless the world be without the grace of our Lord, Father God. Amen. Amen. There is an entire That's beige crazy. economy with endless amounts of retailers offering desaturated toys at discounted price. A hundred? A uh, hundred and ninety-nine dollars. Wait. Two. So you guys can't see. There's the, there's the stupid walker thing from earlier. Is a hundred and twenty dollars. Three... This is oh my god. Oh my god. Hetero Rainbow is 332. The giver vibes a little bit. They're not to buy it. I uh, clearly what is this? What is this? Wait, Jim in Beach is the little thing that curl, the girl's sitting on. That's two hundred dollars for okay. Yep. And hey, you, hey, sure. Another way uh, to milk the upper middle class, it's it's literally got to be that, right? Us mods probably just being ba uh, binge babies. We're uh, just about a, a private color, light and food. I, hey. Hey, Gil. Who lets you out of the basement? <laughs> Thank you, tier one. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lemon Zero, for 11 months. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm like, good! <laughs> yeah, I, I only I only feed the mods those shitty, like, gray Skittles. I don't, want, I don't want them to experience anything. I just throw those down there. <laughs> Sometimes Starkey, Starkey will confuse the, <laughs> excuse the Skittles for pebbles. <laughs> Starkey's had rocks for <laughs> the jokes on Starkey chat. I've been throwing rocks down there the whole time. He got no idea. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Scatter like chicken feet. <laughs> All right, mods, get to eating. It's it's crunching time. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. 
Never mind. Yep. The creator that goes by that. Welcome. To, so this is this is sad beige. Oh, okay. That sad beige lady on TikTok okay. has a popular series where she goes to these sad beige websites okay. and shows the incredibly depressing clothes and toys they sell, okay. often at outrageously high prices. I'm sorry, Froggy. That's where we're going right now. I'm sorry, Froggy. That's where we're going. Thank you for shouting out other creators. You're a you are a kindred heart. Oh my god. Yes, yes. I'll Imagine a sad beige mom's Wait, face when okay. they get home and find their kid with a set of colorful Sharpies oh, on their done. hand it's and done. the whole neutralized toys, furniture, living room, kitchen, bedroom. Right, they have a heart attack. That would be a priceless experience to witness. 100%. All right, sad beige field trip. What we got? Impossibly rich. Yep. Here we go. Long for the satisfaction of a hard day's work in the coal mines? <laughs> you find yourself pinning photos of poverty-stricken families to your Pinterest style boards? Oh my Long god, even the pin- okay. For the respectability of labor, but in a way that allows you to make it to brunch where you won't tip your server? In Jeez! Um, peace! For minor pants?! Bro, what are we do- there's- there's no- I'm in the wrong business. I'm at three fifty for some minor pants. Reducing. I'm in the, I'm doing the wrong job. I'm in the wrong business. I'm doing the wrong job. I uh. just thought about something. Sup? But like this actually poses a frightening possibility. Do go on. If that child ever gets a paper cut True. and see well, their first hmm. color in their blood, there's that could <sighs> pose a massive risk to theirs or others' safety. There's no way if the kid exists that they can can't they, they're gonna go outside once and immediately get flash banged. It's just ugh. This is crazy though. Nolia Pearl Minor Pants. Wow. Rugged resilience. Our minor pants appoint you for the work of unearthing. Well, like cartoons? Of there's no way the mom must mod cartoons. There's no way. Come with me to put together the best, definitely not sad, beige baby gift. The following is for entertainment purposes only. Do not attempt this in real life. Okay. First, find your colors. No, 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 no. Okay, hold on. Let me see. I want to see. I want to see more. Have you seen the Jesus. woman who has? I want to see more beige stuff. Welcome to Werner Herzog's new line of okay. children's toys. Sad beige toys for sad beige children. <laughs> if I give your children squish mallows or the patrol of the paws when you can give them toys that prompt them to engage philosophically with the malice of the natural world. They should not be staring at screens. No, they should be staring glassy eyed into the face. <laughs> what? What is this? It was so to be here for my fear. All right. I don't know. I don't know what the half is. Wait, what is this? You're at home and you're so. Beast. Show me beige stuff. Whether you stay home or not okay. is not a reflection of. Okay, this is something else. Show me beige stuff. Get ready with. I'm here for the beige. See this comically large. Pencil. All right, I'm over it. I'm over it. Ah, uh, the patience. I am fascinated by the concept of this new trend of minimalism being an attempt by the middle class it's, to gain proximity. It's always the upper middle class, by the way. There's nobody in the world who pretends to be rich more than middle class slash upper middle class. There's nobody in the world who does it better. I will never, you will, you will, now you listen here, I'll, I'll listen, I'm calling it out. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, there, there's no one that does it better. You're absolutely right, bro. I'm just saying. Proximity to wealth without actually making more money. I know. Where is this video going? Let me rant for sure. a second. You can see extreme <laughs> forms <laughs> of colorless minimalism in the houses the of middle many grass celebrities. Out, sad for laugh. example, <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Oh, wow. Kim, that's a really cool house you got there. You know what reminds me of... Okay, I'm going to show you guys my personal pre I'm going to show you personal preference chat let me show you my personal preference if I can choose I'm going to do a google I'm going to find something that really oh found it this is like a really small photo but I'll try to get it enlarged hold on uh, here we go save the jpeg there let me show you my aesthetic it is like this is the living room that I want a lot of nice warm tones, cottage core, a lot of colors and greens and browns. It's cottage core. I so this feels like a home. This feels lived in. 
and I can't remove it because uh, I do mercy. Uh, I do. I do uh, mercy. Hi, oh, is that right? How are you? How are you? This feels dystopian. I love Cabin Core and Cottage Core. That's me personally, though. Um, because I'll be down for 100% uh, Neutral House, aka uh, Kim K. The story has the ability to uh, uh, throw paint. That'd be cool, though. That'd be really fun. And I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these sad beige moms were influenced by. That's just why I don't want to live there. I feel like I'm in a padded cell. Yeah. These heavily doctored glimpses into the unobtainable, aesthetically pleasing life. Ugh, it just looks sad. It looks exhausting to live there. Even if you had a full party, you feel like you'd be alone. Of the super rich. A sort of... It looks like a psychological horror movie. It does! Uh. Pay more for less so you can feel like you have more kind of thing. I like minimalism because I don't like a mess. The less stuff to make a mess, the better. That's why I like less things. I'm not a minimalist. I just, I, just That's why I think minimalism is great because it's like you have a couch, a chair... A table, a TV, and a lamp. Less shit to make a mess with. I can barely sit at the table. I'm gonna paint my white uh, walls. I don't want everything over the same color. I I'm with you. Uh, I'm gonna paint. Uh, uh, keep clean as well. Uh, the days white would start like gray. I. Oh my gosh. I don't know. depressed. True. A lot of sad beige moms seem to have this weird us versus the world. Mo I don't care what the world thinks. I love being a beige mom. Okay. Sure. Harder mentality and can be sure. very hostile towards any- You're gonna be one of those sad baby moms. You sure are. Anyone who tries to give suggestions. The two main arguments they tend to fall okay. back on when- Uh, this is your side to be a beige mom. The baby doesn't care about your house and- Wait, the baby doesn't care and your house will be aesthetic. The baby does care, but okay. Whenever they're called out is- You don't care what the world thinks to be a beige mom, though. Care. It's- it, you, you literally are going on society's norms to be a beige mom. Yes. One room full of white rocks, relaxed uh, meditation is a good idea. Yeah, one room, but not the house. And two, that bright colors are actually harmfully overstimulating. But what do the experts say? Go I ahead. was able to find a really great article. How colors play a role in babies development. Perfect. Article written by Nahul Agarwal. Mono that summer eats should not equal to bad design, textures, people. You can be minimalistic true. and not sacrifice texture. It's true. The findings of pediatricians and psychologists True. on this. So the issue. chaos of uh, the cars and that that cars fair. are very important for early cognitive and visual development. Yep. Having a lot of colors yep. in an environment for babies to learn and recognize is also really good for language and emotional yep. development. The article did actually address concerns about overstimulation, citing a study from 2016 that did indicate that too colorful of a play area could be disruptive. But you can you don't have to have it like McDonald's play place, bro. You could just have some color in the room. Shit, you could have... Okay, here's what pisses me off the most. You could have your beige aesthetic. You could. You could have a fully beige room. But you need to have like a colorful mobile. Their toys can be colorful. And then you just put the toys away when they're done. It ain't that deep. You, you don't... You could just have like... You could have color. But also maintaining your aesthetic. And if anyone calls you out like, oh, you're not a real beige mom. It's like, well, yeah, it's for my baby. Like, I, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. My kids are going to play besides uh, having uh, uh, toys around. Oh, my gosh. And colors. Ikea, I blame you for this. I want some blues, man. I haven't been to Ikea in a minute. The beige uh, should make the color pop. It, that we will. It will, though. So the U.S. really likes the idea of a light switch thinking. It's either nothing or everything with a room and anything between. I'm not sure. That's like a case of case. I'm not quite sure, personally. I don't, I don't, I don't even... There's different states. Uh, studies of different things, though. Uh, not to mention what... Uh, so he says he's a journalist uh, versus what actually... Excuse me. That's true, though. That's true. How do you believe the sweets? Oh my god, I'm not playing but nothing! It still makes it very clear that having primary colored toys is important for yes. visual stimulation. Yes. The article also cites Dr. Jody Lavos as okay. saying that while beige colored toys aren't necessarily harmful, sure. babies crave high contrast, something that is missing from the sad beige aesthetic. Fair? Giga fair? Alright, you know what? I do too. I don't think I, I mean, I do. I, I also. But I'm not going to pretend that I'm any kind of expert on this issue. I but I think <laughs> these findings I are like, yes, you see me, uh, but, uh, can it, uh, to put the the I don't think that sad beige moms are the evil parents that the internet has made them out to be. No. 
the it is the sad base mom trend is one for one how people look at anything that is like a, 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 a you know, like a strong following like it's easy for us to say like you, you know this is this is bad this is whatever but i don't think they're like trying to hurt their kids they're following a trend and it, it's really what it boils down to is their trend followers their trends that's just what they're doing I kind of feel like some of those rich people use white sterile minimalist aesthetic to yes. appear humble yep. while still living in giant mega mansions. So that is what it is. I, I believe that as well. Um, I believe that you, you see a lot of minimalist um, rich people, like the mega rich, because they want to see like, oh, you know, I, we've got 24 rooms, but like, you know, it's just go for a minimalist vibe, you know, trying to like bring it all it, And the, the upper middle class trying to emulate that because they also want to appear to be rich because they've been led to think that money equals happiness. And that's why you see a lot of upper middle class try to emulate the rich. Uh, it's just, it's just, at the end of the day, it's just, it's just money. It's just money creating gross energy across the board. You know, nobody here, uh, uh, nobody lives here, but me and my beige. <laughs> This, this room is just for the page. If you worked in a uh, Balka Grande, you know how it's uh, like working in a, uh, and some other people. Wait, what? I'm not familiar. Somebody said rude AF. Okay, fair. It makes fair, perfect fair. sense to me that these women fair. who are expected to give up their lives for their children to have their identities erased and replaced with motherhood yep. feel trapped and depressed as they watch the living space they spend so much time in become overrun with bright colors and constant noise. That's fair. There's a lot of, there's a lot of, you, you see this, there's, there's a lot of like midlife crisis that happens uh, in your 40s, 30s, 40s, 50s, where you think that a, a big thing is like, especially if you have children, I, I, and this is just the nature of the beast, right? You spend so much time with your children that you don't have really a lot of time to spend on yourself, on your hobbies, on your interests, on what brings you joy. Your, your full-time parent is a full-time thing, right? So there's a lot of parents who kind of lose sight of like who they are. And what they like and what they want. And that's why you see a lot of these midlife crises. And sometimes you see that in the, in the case of, uh, of, um, of these beige moms. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just coughing. Uh, Bogotan, Florida, British people. Uh, oh, Bogotan. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. How old are you again? I am in the 30s. I'm in midlife crisis. I'm in my 20s. Yo, wait till you're, you buckle up. It gets worse. <laughs> why I won't have kids? I won't have kids. I can't afford them. I live in 2024 America, bro. I can't afford kids. I'm trying to live like in an apartment. I live in a shitty apartment right now, bro. But there needs to be a balance. Yes, I think agreed. the best compromise for sad beige moms is this. Decorate your house as boring and colorless as you want. Ex just leave the toys alone. That's literally what I just said. I couldn't agree more. I couldn't agree more. You could have a beige child room and it still have value. You know what I'm saying? Um, What is this? Or you can just make a color exposure therapy room for your kids, like the parents of the viral TikTok goth baby. That's pretty cute. It is messed up That's pretty that cute. people are expected to That's stop being themselves. Also, you need some money for that. It's just because they're parents. But I think there are ways of holding on to your identity yes. without depriving your child of color. Most of the toys. If you'll excuse me, I think after making this video, I'm going to need a little color exposure therapy sure. of my own. Sure. Uh, Froggy? Fro <laughs> Froggy? <laughs> ah, all right. Sick. Empty nest syndrome is a term for a reason. Yes. As unfortunate as it is. That's true. I'm in favor of there being groups to help deal with the issue. Of course, of course, of course. Just watch your own colors. That was funny, Frog Bay. I, again, I think that, um, I, I agree with Froggy. At the end of the day, trends or whatever, if they're not hurting anybody, that's the most important thing. In this case, I think that really just let your kids have colorful toys. Let them have colorful toys. You can have a beige, boring ass, gray scaled room all day, but let them have colorful toys. If you really hate it, have them put away the toys when they're done. Teach them to put away their toys, and you still get your shitty, shitty beige things. If it's a baby, let their mobile be full of colors, please. But you don't, you don't need to, you do not need to have this weird dystopian, pure white ball pit. It gets, it gets, it, it, it gets a little far too quick.